Hi, um, Ben and I are currently working on a observatory, the dashboard the site. Pretty much the site, Marco's website. So you're probably familiar with this. Uh, to the right, we have the Arco specific version of the dashboard. And then over here, we have a much more generic version of the dashboard, which we're working on. Uh, any changes that we make to this one can easily be ported over to that one. Uh, just two different versions in the repository. So, what we've done so far, uh, we've done workarounds for the Linux installs, updating to the latest version of Ubuntu has given some errors um, following the current documentation, so we have to do that. Uh, uh, the current install with the uh, current authority is in some version of Debian. I, we should work for any version of Linux. There were just two issues with the uh, newest release of Ubuntu that prevented you from installing Mercurial and the Python imaging library using PIP. So you had to do the work on uh, pseudo application. So we did the documentation for that. Uh, I'm going to be showing off the password reset functionality, the archival path projects, and we also have a section for that past users, which I'm working on in uh, running. We also did uh, stuff with the formatting changes, bug fixes. Um, I'm kind of new to like web development, typically with like JavaScript stuff like that, especially Django. And I spend a lot of time just toying around with doing bug fixes and stuff. And um, yeah. so pretty much the schedule we're, we're working on now is first thing that we have to do is just minor updates, features, bug fixes, um, and then whatever we make on the generic one, we should port over to the Arcos branch just because that's a lot simpler than going the other way around. Um, and then two of the things I really want to do is an easy setup tool and also a task list feature. Uh, the easy setup tool would basically say you just run it the first time and it sets up the administrator accounts, all the other settings that you need to customize for your result. And you should talk about that. Um, oh. Yeah, the um, task list is based off uh, Django to do and um, this is um, one of the um, templates that comes with it. Pretty much summarizes everything. Um, every user can pretty much um, update their own task list or like um, assign someone else a uh, task, and then they have their own task list on their page, and it can come up. So once you click on a project page, you can see like current, very current, um, short-term tasks, like update the UI or something like that. And um, there's email notifications. The other thing was um, motion chart. Um, someone thought it would be, they posted an issue and they thought it would be interesting to show like um, changes over time and see which projects were typically um, have smiley or frowny faces and have been updated very often in general instead of just having a recent smiley face, which might cover up the past frowns. So um, there's actually a, mo mo well, a motion chart where um, the, the Google Visualization API offers um, a pretty fancy chart that um, it's, it's a little animation in it. And, um, you can pretty much track like project commits versus like um, blog updates over time. In each frame of time, you can see a status each project, and it's pretty fancy in the sense that you can click on each little dot and you can see each project's title. And um, there's they're all color coded also, so you can like have a color code to the um, smiley stats at that current time. So you can see the animation in each little dot changing color over time. You can take a snapshot at that current time and see how each project is doing yeah, that that's, that's every cool. week in time. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, that's a very nice thing. Right, you see me? So, uh, they, both of them being done now, is it? Uh, is it I'm um, working on both right both. now. Okay. So, this is a demo of what we have so far. Um, this is just basically a test server I have up and running. So, you can see how we have you know, two crashes there. One isn't supported anymore. So, let's go ahead and log in. Like let's 
say we're changing over semesters. Uh, we don't want the old project down there. So you just go to modify project, change that to inactive. And then that moves it from this project page to the past projects. And it also affects all the statistics, so that's not factored in. This is for the that with the students? Uh, this is for anyone who has the ability to modify the projects. Okay. So it could be the author of the project or it could be the administrator. Okay. Uh, it's just so that way there's a bit more access to everyone. Uh, can, is it possible to look at the past projects? Yep, that's on that page right there. Uh, there's no chart on the top for scoring because it's more like an archive page so there won't be any no point to doing that. The so is, how, uh, how did you get to this page? Uh, there's just a new link up there called past projects. Okay. Um, is that actually an example of someone using the visualization API <coughs> over here? Yeah, yeah. With, in case you want to see it. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is very cool. Uh, Income versus life expectancy. Yeah. So you can see the uh, change over time, and you can also just stop it at will and see what it is at current time. And they have a color code for fertility, so you can do like smiley stats at that time or something like that to see, or other variables, because um, they offer drop down like menus for different variables, so you can see different variables. It's a lot of done in JavaScript, right? Um, yes, well, it uses Splash, too, right. but you code it in JavaScript, but then it just uses Splash. And then you can switch between linear and long, the scaling.
The other thing is, with that though, if someone isn't the author but they're still working on the project, we just need to move them over to activate them again. Um, and it goes relatively easy both ways. Uh, let's say someone comes back from last semester and wants to work on mobile notifier. So, change that over to active. And that immediately goes and updates that view too. The current issues that are, uh, people ha have uh, uh, feed, it's not uh, picking up the feed. If you pick up, if you click the feed, yeah, it's working here, but not in the current observation. So you have to check whether there is any. Okay, um, I'll take a look at uh, that. Could you just be in our class, uh, specific frame issue? Yeah, our specific frame, but yeah, we'll take a look at it because that currently affects at least these two people, people have complained. And I, I usually it takes me a long time before I get the feed. I keep looking at the feed to see who are all committing this. Okay. Uh, I can also try increasing the frequency of fetching. That might also fix it. Uh, I'll take a look at this weekend.